So I click on the Start menu and click on Settings. And once Settings open up, I want to click on Network and Internet. And if I scroll down, it says Change Adapter Options. So I'm going to click on that. And now I'm going to right-click on my Ethernet connection and go to Properties. And there's my IP address settings. So I'll double-click on those. And here's where I can set my IP address. And the gateway is already entered for me because it got that from DHCP. And now I want to add in my DNS server. I'm going to click OK and OK. Now if I go down to the search box and type CMD for command, or you can see I've already typed in command, I'll type in IP config and it'll show me my IP address and there it is. So you can see the default gateway disappeared and that happens sometimes. So you need to go back in and manually enter it back in again. And there it is, you see it's gone. This happens more often on virtual machines than it does on physical machines, but you just want to keep that in mind that that does happen. And let's take a look again. And now everything's here. Let's go ahead and ping a website. And we can see we're definitely getting out to the Internet. Very good. Another option for changing the IP address in case that option is no longer there is you right-click in the bottom right-hand corner of the little network picture and click on Open Network and Internet Settings. And you can click on Properties where it says Ethernet. And we scroll down to where it says IP Settings. Click on IP Settings and click Edit. And we can change it from Automatic DHCP to Manual. And then you can manually enter in your IP address. Now, as of right now, you can do it both ways. But at some point, it's possible that Microsoft might remove the first option that I showed you. So once you set that, you can just click Save. And then it will save that information. Now, a lot of people ask me, how do I know what IP address I should be setting this to? Well, what you want to do is you want to make sure that your gateway IP address, when you're showing your DHCP address, as you see here, this is my IP address, but it's not DHCP. It is a physical address. So I can change it back to DHCP by going into Properties, change it to Automatic, and click OK. Now when I go back into IP config again, it should give me a different IP address, and it does. So it gives me a 21.195. So here's how you know what IP address to set this to. So if you see the subnet mask 255 three times, what that tells me is the first three octets, and that's what they're called, are octets, are the ones you need to stick with. So when you're going to set your IP address manually, it's going to need to be the same three IP addresses that you see here. In this case, 192.168.21. Yours might be 10.0.0 or 192.168.0, something like that. You also want to make sure that you write down your gateway. However, if you want to set the IP address to something physical, then you can change it to something other than what you see here. Now, if you get an error when you set the IP address saying duplicate IP address, it just means that there's another device with the same IP address. So you're going to want to change it to one digit up or down or find a different number altogether. Now, in this case, because we have these three 255s, it means that I can only set the IP address here from dot one, which in this case is my router, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, but dot one through 254. So you have 254 addresses. So go ahead and set that from anywhere from two, three, four, all the way up to 254. Now, if you see a different subnet mask, such as 255.255.0.0, that means that you can, instead of just having 255 addresses, you now have 65,000 plus addresses. So you can set that uh, 192.168.1.2.5.12, anything that you want. But you have to pay attention to the subnet mask because this matches up to the IP address above it. These three all have to be the same. However, this IP address can be different. So that's how you set your IP address in Windows 11. And this also works with older versions such as Windows 10, Windows 8, 7, etc.